Hello everyone, this is Joram once again. I'm going to go ahead and go through the LVY setup. Uh, in this one we're going to go over something. Uh, before we get to the settings, we're going to go ahead and show you the anchors. Uh, now the anchors are just everywhere in here. These are the little bits and pieces that uh, show you how the game is going to work. And there's two settings that you can set this to right away, and that's going to be sticky or non-sticky. I'm going to show you the difference between the two of them real quick. I'll just go ahead and use the pet bar here. So I can move this however I want to. It's pretty simple. If I turn this off, same thing. No real difference. But there is one difference, and that is it has an XY axis lock. So on the Y axis here, it's going to just lock it there. And on the X axis, axis it'll do the same. So that's mostly the benefit. There's also a couple others. Uh, it'll try to snap to other bars as best as it can. Uh, sometimes it misses, sometimes it does a few other things. But I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, now pretty much everything you have here you can move. The only things you can't move are the two chat bars, or the chat windows here. Um, but you know, we're going to go ahead and move the player window out of the way and the target out of the way just because I have a smaller screen than most people. It kind of sucks, but yeah, that's the way it worked out. I'm also going to move action bar 5 up here just to sort of get it out of the way. But let's see, just move some stuff around here, make a little bit of space. I'll just put three right here. We're going to play with these later, but uh, I just want to show you how these worked. Um, you, know, you have your Aras, uh, your Shift AB, that's um, actually going to be um, your transformation panel. Uh, so if you have a DK, Paladin, uh, Shadow Priest, things like that, uh, Druids especially. This right here is going to be the bar where all of those um, transformations are to make it a little bit easier. So that's a nice thing to have sort of, you know, right up front and center also, just because if you're switching a lot, it's nice to have that in, in the area. Another thing that I wanted to point out is the loot roll frame. Uh, this is actually really important because um, LVI is sort of a back level um, item or uh, add-on. So when you have loot roll frame here, and if you have some other add-ons that show up very big right here, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to click on your loot rolls. So you can move this, or you can just go ahead and just make sure nothing is in this area, which is what I did. Uh, but that's pretty important. Uh, the boss button, I've rarely used that, so we'll get to that bit later on. Uh, you also have these arena, and underneath them is actually a boss tab also. Uh, these are really cool little things right here because uh, what, what they are is it basically just sort of gives you a heads up of bosses and arena's health. And, you know, it's always nice to make sure that these stay sort of nice looking uh, and you can sort of see the, the... I still do have the sticky frames on so these will snap into place just where we want them. And it's actually pretty smart because it tries to uh, lock them by spacing. It sort of sees that I'm spacing these a certain way and what will happen is the UI will try to lock it so that I continue, but every once in a while you'll get something like this. Um, so when that happens, we just turn sticky frames off and that will stop. It'll stop right away. Uh, you just have to be a little bit more careful of how you eyeball this and then turn them back on and that frame will snap right into place usually. Ooh, but this time it's not. Oh, I love it when they do that when I'm right when I sing their praise, always the case. All right, so. Let's the last arena bar in place, and there you go. So it's just sort of a simple little way to sort of clean things up. Um, the pet action bar and action bar four, uh, they, they're usually tied together. Uh, this is just sort of a setting that uh, has been with the system for quite a while, so it's a nice little bit. Uh, the one thing that you can't move is this, which is your experience uh, bar. That we'll show you how to move in the next episode. So we'll just go ahead and lock everything in place, um, and basically you know, I'll close this. You can sort of see how those moved. You know, the action bars are here and here, my pet bar. Uh, we'll clean all this up in later episodes, but I just wanted to show you how to move things. And once again, we we'll go to the credits, and I would like to thank Tux, Hayes, Nightcracker, Mega1970, Hydrazine, and all of the testers and donors who help keep LVI possible. Once again, this is Joram, signing off until the next episode.